So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. for the game. the whistle Some good work on the right flank now what's next Books it upfield Books it to safety gets it back we sit high Oh, he's found him in space! It's in! Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside. And I think you have to praise them all round on that one, from the pass and the finish. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. It's a long forward pass. Ball is over the line. Where to from here? Brings it forward. Can he finish? Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Got it back as soon as they gave it away. Plays it out to the wing. Now it's Anderson. Lucas Anderson tries to get it forward quickly. And he's cut it out. Should have hit the net. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. And it's Anderson. Now it's Anderson. Hoisted towards the area. Tries a through ball. Oh, not quite. And the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Cuts it out. Oh, he's broken through. And the keeper turns it behind.
referee brings the first half to a close. Yeah, they're slightly lacking in the goal-scoring department, but they've played well overall. Just a bit unlucky, perhaps, to go in down at half-time. I think there's no reason for them not to bounce back. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Now it's Anderson. Played into the middle. Clears it out of harm's way. Oh, he's caught in there, it's a free kick. expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close. I mean, he kept the keeper on his toes. Spoon forward. Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. find a way to turn around this deficit boots it upfield and that's left him on the seat of his pants tries a long pass towards the front great ball now the shot it's hit the upright no mistake two up and threatening to pull clear that's no fluke it's what he was there for well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. A piece of really good defending thrust towards the front line. Aimed long and direct. Looks towards the front. He's a clever pass. He's got through. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Shots on. They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable, easy on-field experience time. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. This game seems as if it's going to go beyond a rescue point, uh, so they need a goal and fast just to raise spirits and at least give their fans something to cheer. Comes sliding in. Defenders on the back foot. They really are proving themselves to be solid all over the field. Time added on, four minutes. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And, oh, that's too long. And that will be the final act. Well, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Look, you've got to start...